Well, howdy folks. I just received a box full of Berkeley lures and I was looking at these clothes uh, under the lights because some of them I'm seeing for first time and I was kind of curious and then I thought, man, these look interesting. Let's make a quick video with them and share my completely spontaneous um, opinion on them. Uh, the first thing is, hey, by the way, I bought all of these 25% off directly from Berkeley. They had a Black Friday deal, but I think you can find them all for 25% off, if not on the Berkeley website, Fish USA or Tackle Warehouse. I'm sure if you Google throughout December, uh, you can find them 25% off. I got to give credit to the subscriber who told me that Berkeley just released a one inch uh, gulp minnow. Not, I guess it's not gulp minnow now, it's power bait minnow. Uh, I always liked the gulp minnow, but I did not want to reach inside of no jars. And, but I like, you know, fishing with something with scent, something that's organic, that if a fish eats it, it doesn't have plastic in the stomach. Plus, you can keep them in your bag forever and they just don't dissolve, they don't go bad, they don't rot, they don't melt from the sun. They are so good to have a couple of bags of Berkeley in your backpack just in case you want to put something organic on your jig head. But back to the lures, let's get uh, the known stuff out of the way. Let me, let me refocus the camera. Okay, I think it's focused now. Uh, these are the nymphs. I buy a few of these every year because these things are amazing for everything. I don't know anything that I haven't caught with this. Bluegill, crappie, bass, trout, uh, channel catfish. I mean, everything, drum, everything loves these things. Usually I told you, I let me tell you once again, the way I use them, I've said this in other videos, and I am flattered. I am flattered to notice that people are taking this uh, little tip seriously. But when I fish them, I pull these big flaps off because, in my opinion, they are a deterrent, not an attractant. Look how many appendages we have, and these things are so beautiful in the water. These big, big flaps to me are deterrent for a small bluegill to come and inhale the whole thing. It can come from the side and kind of hit it first, to first to dismember it, and then it can inhale it. Because if the flappers are here, how can a bluegill inhale uh, such a tiny crow? I, at least this is in my own, you know, distorted head, how a bluegill sees it. So I always pull these things off unless I'm targeting juvenile bass by the mooring cells on Tennessee River. Then I keep the appendages because bass ab actually absolutely love them. I'm sure you will tell me that bluegill love them or so. That's how I fish them. But I, I buy a few of them every year. These are my favorite colors. These three colors. Some of the colors are not. This one is amazing, but it's not very natural, but it's kind of high vis. I don't know, this is probably the number one color, but I already have a few packs of those from last year. These are the three colors. This is so safe to have. Like, I don't care what you're fishing in the United States. It, it fits, the other thing is the diameter of the body fits the BG1 jigs. Just beautiful. They're just made for my jigs, the perfect amount of gap. I recommend having one at least one pack of these, preferably two of different colors on your boat or in your backpack at all times. Uh, okay, let's see now the reason why I bought these. Now, this color completely natural. What is it? Black Shad. Completely natural color. Good, but not that beautiful. But if you want natural in clear water, you can use this. This is my purple winter color. That's what I call it. They say purple magic. Purple to me is a winter color. Not a bad color. This color, man. 
This color looks very, very nice. Kind of similar to this, no? I don't know why I like this color so much. Maybe because I like press so. Now, when I saw these through the nylon bag, and I haven't even opened it. I told you this is a spontaneous video. I have not even opened one of them. I was a little disappointed because these things need to have a little more body. One inch is very short wool. Make it a little juicier. This thing, folks, is... I mean, it's a beautiful lure, but I will be the first to admit it's too small for my jigs. Even the one gram number 12, let me find, I think I, let me find one here. They just look too small for my jigs. Now, I am 100% sure that I can fish them and I will kill fish with them this one is too clear i don't i'm not a fan of being too clear but honestly i probably put it upside down yeah i did put it upside down but you you get an idea of the dimensions honestly there is just there is no the maximum diameter is not enough there is not enough length there is just not enough volume. There is not enough body to be fished with my jigs. I really wish it had just a little bit more body. Otherwise, I have to make a size 14. Here's the thing with size 14. It's too small even for bluegill folks. I can make it, but what? But it's going to be for some... What are you going to fish with this? Because... Size 14 hook, a 7-inch bluegill will inhale it deep. Already the size 12 hook is, you know, if you have big bluegill, they swallow too deep. Uh, people have told me they prefer the size 10 hook over the size 12, just so fish don't swallow that deep. And if I make size 14 just for these lures, you're going to have little bluegill completely inhaling it. You're going to have to deep unhook every fish. The 2-inch, by the way, I have the 2-inch too. I, I used to have it, then I got rid of it. I didn't fish it anymore because there was no good jig, jig head for this thing. But now that I have, the only jig head that I had, that I fished it with was the Daiwa tungsten jigs with the chrome heads, but it looked horrible putting this natural thing with a chrome head it bothered me but now that i have the 1.5 number eight in black color now i can tell you that putting this behind the 1.5 number eight in black color and twitching this around the mooring cells on tennessee river i'm i'm gonna drive these one pound juveniles there completely nuts but uh, Berkeley, if you're watching, you really need to make something in between. Like 1.25 or even 1.5 inch. It's not going to be too big because this right now is for me just for ice fishing. Dropped vertically and uh, for one of these tiny ice fishing jig heads. They're tiny, but the hooks are fat and nasty. And the barbs, oh, the barbs. God forbid one of the fishes that we catch comes unhooked. God forbid we lose a hook with the nasty barbs. So, okay, enough about the power bait. This one too small. This one, to be honest with you, a little bit too big for crappie. But you can trim this one. You can work with this. Okay, here is our next item. Berkeley power bait sword tail. 1.25 inches. I thought, man, this this just looks like the larva Z, doesn't it? But organic? Imagine that organic larva Z. I had very high hopes for this thing. And it's 1.25 inches. Now, even the gulp minnow, the one inch gulp minnow, it was always a little bit too small for my jig heads. 
So when I saw this, it's just an image 1.25 inches. I thought, man, this will be just a killer with my jigs. Folks, I'm not even going to pull this out. This thing is beautiful. The length is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. This thing is too small for my jig heads. It's not even about the diameter because it has a head. All right, fine. Let's let's open one. I mean, it's got no body. Let's me try to put it on. But there is nothing to put on the hook. There is no body. There is nothing. No plastic. No nothing. How can we work with this? I don't know how to work with this. I don't know. How do we work with this? It, it's too small for my for my jigs. Like there is not this thing will be too small for size 14 BG1. There's just nothing. I don't know. Maybe just supposed to be fished with a bare hook, not with a jig head. Something like a size 14 or 16 bare hook. Amazing looking bait. Organic smells amazing. Look at this. Amazing looking bait. Too damn tiny, bro. And here is the next one. Berkeley Mayfly 0 0.75 inch. Man, I make them look bigger than they are. Again, folks, just amazing profile. Amazing color and amazing smell. But I don't want to show you. I don't want to take it out. It's it's a big pain to take it out of the package. You can see the body. Compare the bodies of these things. Too small for my jigs, folks. They're just tiny. There is no body. There, it's, it's not if you hook it this way, if you hook it that way, maybe this, maybe that. There is just not enough body here. Uh, one last thing to show you. No, two last things. These are different items. These things here are so beautiful. These atomic tubes are so amazing. Oh, they have 1.5 inch and 1.25 inch. They're different. I mean, both of them are absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can show you the colors. These things look amazing, folks, and they are organic. They look natural. They smell good. They're just gorgeous. I, what wouldn't I give to put one of these on the one of these black color BG ones? Okay. And look at this color. Oh my gosh. Can you guys even see this color? This color is drop that gorgeous, folks. Let me open one of them to show you. Look, just amazing color. And my gosh, does it smell good? I mean, this is just the perfect bait, perfect color, but hollow, hollow. Why don't you make it solid? I know, I know there is some uh, jig heads made for tubes with the, the, the lead in the middle and you have to play it like this. I don't have jig heads like this and those jig heads have nasty hooks. I'm not fishing it with those. Now this thing with this jig head would be amazing but you can't super glue it and because it doesn't hold the berkeley power bait stuff is not strong enough to to be super good this is relatively straight but man look at this smells good the appendages soft amazing lure but how do i put it on my jigs I can't super glue it. It doesn't hold. And if it was solid, that would, the hook itself, I have very long shank because my head is compressed. So you have a lot of shank to support and to hold the lure. But it's just, it's hollow. Maybe it will hold just enough, but if it was solid, how much material are you saving? Probably they're saving a lot by making them hollow. I really wish they were solid and God is my witness. One day I will make a proper tube with proper appendages, a little bit longer appendages, not so many, but a little bit longer, more action on the appendages. And I'm going to make my tube solid 
and I'm going to make it with a flat nose. So you can just put it behind the jig head. Other than that, amazing color, diameter, smell, everything. But make a plan how you're going to fish this because on the BG1 jigs, you're going to put it, but a, bo a bluegill pulls when it's hollow, it will tear very easy. So not, uh, not efficient. But if you know how to fish these hollow tubes, they have amazing colors. They look so natural and pretty and sparkly. They have 1.5 inch and 1.25 inch. Um, both sizes are very acceptable. I can work even for bluegill with the 1.5 inch. Not too big. I can work with... This is probably better bluegill and this is better crappie. Of course, no bass will pass this. But yeah, I'm going to put this out. Uh, if you liked any of these, I'm sure they are on sale uh, the rest of December. Of course, I'm not associated with uh, Berkeley in any way at all. I'm just, uh, you know, trying to show you what these look like. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.